You've all heard of Ratatouille, right? One of the best-selling Disney movies of all time, where a rat goes to Paris and hopes to become a master chef by controlling a human being to cook what he wants to cook. It sounds like someone got high one day and just came up with that idea, but hey, it's a great movie. You would think it's the only movie about a rat that has dreams of becoming a master chef. My God, are you wrong? <laughs> That's where I introduced to you Ratatouille. Yes, they couldn't even come up with a different title. They took Ratatouille and crossed out the ooey and put in the ooey. <laughs> Ratatouille is an animated short film with four stars out of five, which is a lot better than the movies we've been watching. But this movie's about a rat who's the owner of the, one of the best restaurants in Rio de Janeiro, who must embark on a series of missions to steal ingredients from human restaurants <coughs> Hold on. <laughs> to ensure his meals remain the best. That was a doozy. But this week I'm challenging you guys to get 1,300 1, 300 likes. Holy crap. Let's get 1,300 likes for my talk, for my inability to talk. And if you're new here, you know what to do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because you get beautiful commentary from a from me. Before we get into this video, I'm holding the first ever Gutsy Gimmicks, which is a Shark Tank competition. To enter, you just need to go to my Discord down in the description, submit a two to three minute funny Shark Tank pitch, and in a video about two to three weeks from now, I will be reviewing your business ideas and deciding the winner. The submission cutoff date is July 10th, so make sure you get them in now. But without further ado, Ratatouille, let's see what you got. Ratatouille. <laughs> okay. That was the best intro to a movie I think I've hands down ever seen. We're not even a second into this. This is brilliant. The Marvelous Sin. Is this in 144p? What's going- Oh. What is this? <laughs> I feel like I need my freaking glasses for this. Hold on. Nope, it's still awful. <laughs> the favorite bistro, according to the truly sophisticated and refined rats. Chef Marcel Toyn prepares the most delicious and exotic dishes, always using special- Is that- <laughs> Is that Mickey Mouse? <laughs> Don't tell me that's the Mouse Elisa. <laughs> It was my second cousin, Vinny, who told me about this great restaurant. It's so nice of you to say so. I'll tell Marcel he loves compliments. I hope you will tell him. <laughs> this dialogue is fucking great. I love this. Indeed, this restaurant is very good, Maria Lice. You are absolutely right. Oh, were you questioning my good taste, darling? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Oh, I can't. I can't do this. Ready to order? I, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Everything looks so good, it's hard to know what to get. But I I think I'm going to order the mushroom and moss puree with orange sauce. Would you recommend this dish? There's no thought time between their, their like, conversations. It's like one person asks a question and they're answering it, like, immediately. What are you planning on eating today? Either your ass or the meatball sub. I don't know. <laughs> How did you think that fast? I can't even... <laughs> Why is that dude's nose like the size of a fucking Shaq's foot? I don't. <laughs> Please, sir, I'll bring it quickly. No, wait, I'm not sure yet. I. <laughs> no, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> There's something strange over here. What seems to be the problem, sir? I ordered the flies with gorgonzola sauce, and this is definitely camembert sauce. Motherfucker, how could you mess that up? <laughs> Hello. Oh, <Hello>. yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Shakira walk in the room? Because those hips do not lie. <laughs> hey guys, do you know that the party at table four has changed his order again? Now he wants Let a me guess. He wants the spicy, fatty, and crisp spaghetti. Precisely. That guy always ends up ordering the same thing. I'm glad you know the ordering habits of your clientele. Hmm. Oh, hey now. Hey. You better fucking calm down. <laughs> That's... I don't know, I don't know, man. And where's Otavio? He's here, right now he's serving at table two. Oh, you mean the Aristocrats table. Precisely. Ah, uh, that's funny. Aristocats? Aristocrats? Tell the world don't move. That's peak comedy if I've ever seen it. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Junior, you really need to stop eating the junk food. It's not healthy for you. Have a heart, dear. Let the boy have what he wants. Yes, Daddy, I love cheddar. Either we over-sexualized the word daddy or that was... I can't really tell, to be 100% honest. Where do these rare ingredients come from? How come no one else in town seems to be able to get them? I don't know, sir. I just serve the food here. It's cocaine. The secret ingredient is cocaine with a sprinkle of heroin. You shouldn't have asked. Every dish we serve... Excuse me. 
What just, hold on, what just happened? But I know we always seem to have all the secret ingredients we need for every dish we serve. Excuse me. <laughs> what just happened? That is so weird. I know we have the secret ingredients for every dish we serve. Excuse me. <laughs> There's no lag time in between anything that anybody does or says. What about chocolate sponge cake with ice cream and biscuit bran? Hmm. I'm sorry, but I don't usually like ice cream unless I'm certain that it's absolutely fresh. I feel like I'm getting dumber with every word that's spoken. You know how movies are supposed to kind of like, they have like the graph. It's like, oh, you're supposed to get the plot. This movie has stayed stagnant and has not progressed in any sort of way. And we're 10 minutes in. It has not moved. And I feel like I'm getting dumber by the second. And don't forget, after the restaurant closes, we still have a lot to do. What do you mean? I plan to go home. Greg, have you forgotten that it's Thursday night? Greg, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Fire him. He's done. We don't want him here. The actual secret ingredient that can be found in all of the food prepared here is lots of. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just listen to this. The actual secret ingredient that can be found in all of the food prepared here is lots of. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This movie cannot be real. I have no idea what is going on in this movie right now. For the past 10 minutes, it's been so stagnant. The same thing has been happening over and over. Every single client is like, this food is so amazing. <laughs> they're like, can we talk to the chef? The chef comes out and he's like, it's, it's just soup, soup dog, dog, you're an idiot. <laughs> You know, I thought he was going to reveal the secret. You mean our little secret was almost revealed. Listen, guys, I think we should just forget about trying to uncover the secret of Ratatouille's food. Oh, these people were trying to steal the secret formula the whole time. Who could have seen that coming? All right, so we got the plot of the, of, of the movie. This guy has an amazing restaurant. These mice have their own restaurant, and they're... They're jealous, and they want to steal the secret formula. This is just the plot of Spongebob. Come on, Greg, it's time. That shot made me severe, severely uncomfortable. I'm not even going to lie to you. God damn. <laughs> Why are they moaning every single time they put something on? They put on their backpack, and they go... <laughs> God damn, my boy's dripped out beyond belief. Holy. Boy's running, ready to run up some numbers right now. <laughs> All right, so from this 30 minute, you know, ready up intro, what I'm gathering is they're going on a secret mission, I guess. I say I guess because I have no idea what this movie's going towards. As long as Ratatouille is open, we're sure to keep losing business. I think you started losing business for us the day you started forgetting about our own restaurant. Damn, speaking facts out here. Oh, would you shut up? I believe we don't have any choice but to destroy Ratatouille. So in the next like 10 minutes, these rats are trying to figure out how to steal the secret formula from these rats who are in the process of, I'm, I'm assuming, stealing more recipes for their restaurant. That's what I'm, I'm, I think's happening. I'm so lost. I can't 100% say that I am, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Uh, uh, hello? Why are they moaning? Was that necessary? Ooh, a POV shot? That was wild. Okay, so they're trying to plot how to steal the recipe when she could literally just walk into the restaurant. I, I fucking, I don't know, man. I forgot for a second if I was watching Mission Impossible or Ratatouille. This is, this is high quality. Strawberries, big, beautiful red ones that smell incredibly fresh and delicious. We need to make sure we haven't been followed by anyone. We cannot jeopardize our source for fresh ingredients. Their secret ingredient was strawberries? I, I, I... <laughs> That's it, now bring me the strawberry. Greg, how did you turn that thing on? I think I pushed the switch! What switch? They pushed the button behind you! Did you say pull? No! Not pull the button! Push the button! Are you saying button? I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Push the fucking button! The button is a switch! Uh, what switch? Turn around, you dumb bitch! <laughs> She look at me like I was supposed to do something. I didn't like the way she just stared into my soul like that. Now let's head home and call it a night. 
I hope Otavio remembered to lock the front door. Oh, Otavio. What are you fucking doing, Otavio? My favorite thing about this whole show is they say everything out loud. You know in movies, like, some things are supposed to be implied. You know, like, things you're, the viewer is supposed to be like, Oh, I get it now. Like, oh, I figured it out in my head. And this one, they're like, I'm blinking. I am breathing. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Greg asked me to do something before I went home, but what was it? I think it was, um, uh, let me see now. Lock the door. I think I had to go to the store. No, we were supposed to lock the door. But which store? The door. I think I had to, uh... Lock the door. Oh, I forget. But whatever it was I was supposed to do, I'll just do it later. No, you can't. It was the door. And you f***ed up already. The door, dumbass. You just walked by. I'm getting dumber. You're saying that Marcel gets fresh ingredients directly from the kitchen of the human's restaurant? Humans are notorious for setting rodent traps to keep rats away, especially from their kitchens. They're like super secret agents. You should check out their equipment. It reminds me of a rat bomb movie. Rat bond movie? Holy hell, we're going into the fourth dimension. And we're breaking the barrier. <laughs> <laughs> rat bond. So that implies that there is a James Bond in the rat world. There's got to be an ice to this, right? This is like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but like the Marvel Cinematic Rat-verse or something. <laughs> How do you think we can stop them? Well, maybe all we need to do is to make things a little more complicated for them. I'm sure we can find a way to make it more difficult. Cut off their legs. Maybe I shouldn't be in charge of a kid's movie. I still have grave doubts about this great plan. You'll see. You'll see. One, two, three, now! <laughs> <laughs> My roommate probably thinks I'm watching porn or something. <laughs> I'm so far gone. I don't even. Why? Why? I just. <laughs> it's still going. We're still doing this. I have a question. If the whole plan was to scare the lady in the first place, why was it necessary to do the dancing and the moaning and, and the... Why, what was the point of it? Let's get out of here. The sight of all these humans is more than I can stand anymore. I agree with Maria. Let's go. You're going to leave without taking anything? We'll need to take quick and effective measures. I want this taken care of immediately. If anybody's ever questioning what I would do if I saw a rat, I'll show you. Let's say it's just sitting on the ground. Like, I, I would pick it up and it's just a clear... Pint, about 40 yards. That's like a clear as day. They scared the human being so that the human beings would now set up traps. So now that it's Thursday night, these mice are gonna go back and get some more ingredients. But what I'm assuming is they're gonna run into some problems. Don't fuck it, don't. Ah, it's incredible. There's so much fresh food here tonight. Oh, don't do it. Don't trust anything, Marcel. They might be traps. Might be. It's right in front of your eyes. <laughs> I thought he died. I was... <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks like a bar of chocolate. We certainly do now. <laughs> I do. Maybe lift it again? <laughs> I did it! I did it. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a cat sound? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with the cat? <laughs> Buddy's built like Bowser. <laughs> that walk is heavy. <laughs> barely picked that up with his hands. You're trying to get me to believe that he's just holding that with the, the bottom of his feet on a zip line? Did that just knock him out? Please tell me that knocked him out. They don't get the ingredients, which sucks. The bad rats realized that they were successful because they couldn't get the ingredients and the food was bad. So now the crew, their only option is to try to go back and get the secret ingredients. I swear to God, dude, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Marcel, be careful this yeah. time, will you? Yeah. Watch your back over there, Marcel. Precisely. Does this motherfucker just come in every 30 seconds and say precisely? I'd love to chat with you. <laughs> how you doing, handsome? Good, how are you doing? Sorry, I don't... Sorry. Basically, the, the, the good rat makes friends with the cat. They get the ingredients. The bad guys get caught by the cat. They're friends with the cat now, and the cat does... It does this. Almost everything seemed to be back to normal.
I said almost everything. Ah, that's a knee slapper right there, baby. <laughs> Trust me, he is the very best deal in town, my friends. Precisely. I'm done, I can't. <laughs> This whole movie, this man's been praised for being one of the best chefs in the rat village. And all he's done is, is... <laughs> Are you mocking me? <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm, oh, is this over? Please tell me this is over. It's over. Good lord. Thank the heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. That was one of the hardest watches I've ever done on this channel. Um, so if you made it through, I love you. We did this. I don't know what just happened. I don't know what I just watched, but I can tell you that my two brain cells just transferred into one. I can't, I, wow. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. If you are new here, make sure to hit that like button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. And for now, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I don't know.